Well, good afternoon. This is Steve Jones. It's March 1st, 2022. It's about 2.50 p.m. I'm in the eastern end of the Wheeler National Wildlife Refuge. Since I live about 15 miles from here, and since January 1, I've measured 14 and a half inches of rain. We're at the edge here of a mixed loblolly pine hardwood stand. Uh, there's a pretty large red oak right in front of me, and then a loblolly pine about 15 inches, and another one beyond it that's probably 28 inches. And as I swing around, that was the view east. I'm looking north now, and then swinging into what is a very wet bit of this site. Uh, water in most of the lowland areas. And you can see as I swing toward the west, there is a bit of a sheen on the water with, I think, natural organics giving a bit of a a rainbow effect and here in front of me is uh, an old pine heart still standing you can see the step out into the water here you can see the stubs and the inside is very very I can smell the if you can see my hand they smell the rosin soaked wood and Swinging now toward the south, looking up, you can see the hardwood. It looks like sweet gum. <clears throat> I've seen some red maple. And again, the loblolly pine. Loblolly is probably a good 90 to 100 feet tall. Here on this, it looks like a maple pole right in front of me. You can see the resurrection fern beginning to dry out a bit from the rain we had most of the day two or three days ago. And that's it from the Wheeler National Wildlife Refuge. I'll take one more swing around and show you the water once more looking west. I'm looking west, the water's not. And that's it for Steve Jones, Great Blue Heron, March 1, a month that came in like a lamb here in Northern Alabama.